salutations. I'm Gil. And I'm Gil, and this is Strategic Prepper. Hey guys, the other day I was driving around and uh, something happened to me to think about one of the core principles that we teach. So we talk about uh, concentric circles and, and using a balanced approach and, and uh, utilizing uh, hazard assessments and whatnot. Um, and, and our system creates this balanced, systematic approach to preparedness so we don't have any 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 glaring gaps um, let me let me kind of illustrate let me show you what I'm talking about let's take the forerunner for example it's my bug out vehicle I got a lot of modifications planned for it but you'll notice I haven't done all that much I've got the rock sliders I put larger all terrains on it uh, it looks mostly unchanged let's move over to the shop I uh, installed rubber floor mats, although I'm not completely done. The roof needs to be repaired. Uh, there's roof leaks in there. I'd like to add some overhead lighting. The raised bed portion of the garden is a work in progress. I've still got m multiple phases uh, in my project here. These fruit trees are in buckets because I haven't planted them yet because I've got to clear out those trees and basically I'm going to pay someone with a bulldozer to, to clear it for me. You've got the side of the house here that I'm going to run gutters and, and at the end of the house I have a few uh, water holding tanks, you know, a pair of 750 or 1,000 gallon tanks. Somewhere in this area I'm going to have a greenhouse and then also I'm going to have a shop or I should say a shed, insulated shed with solar powered uh, AC units. And here you can see the, the back area. I've got some corn growing. Of course the, I'm, I'm battling the weeds. Here I've um, got a sprinkler going on my sweet potato patch. I've got irrigation systems to put in here. I've got to expand this growing area. I got a lot of projects on the table, uh, right, for, for fruit production here. Uh, I've also got chickens I'm going to be getting and, and some other livestock potentially. And even with the house, it's not necessarily uh, directly prepping related, but uh, you know I've got to finish. Uh, a repair project in the kitchen. I've got to gut one of the bathrooms because of water damage. I have to add more insulation in the attic because we got problems with that. Uh, a lot of projects going on with the house as well. So you can see we got a lot of projects going on. And so what am I getting at? Well, I was driving around the other day and I saw this really cool uh, off-road vehicle. Highly modified. Guy put a lot of money into it. And I was thinking about my forerunner and uh, man, I could I could have I could have that system basically my phone. I could have a really cool modified bug out vehicle, everything I want. Um, and you, when we've seen those guys, especially in the preparedness industry, to have all these flashy things like the bug out vehicle, that'd be an easy one uh, to do. You know, have a nice flashy bug out vehicle. Uh, but if I had spent those resources uh, in any one of these projects, so I've got all these things happening at the same time that I'm working on. Any one of these I could I could finish to completion uh, and basically have the best of the best um, right now. But that would leave everything else that you just saw with no progress at all. Um, and so what I'm doing is, is working on everything at the same time, whether it's my bug out vehicles, uh, whether it's the shop, whether it's uh, the house projects, the expansion projects on the, on the, uh, the garden. That's really what we're talking about, right? We talk about this a lot, and this is, you see it in action. This is what it looks like. Um, everything is moving up together. The capabilities of all my systems are moving up together. That way I'm not left with any glaring gaps. Now, it does mean um, sometimes I reevaluate uh, my priorities. So depending on what's going on, um, yeah, I might put more focus in one thing or the other, especially this spring and summer focus has been on, on the garden a lot I uh, got to get food production we all see what's going on um, and it takes years to get a really good food production system same thing with berry bushes and fruit trees they take years to really mature so you got to get that stuff started early now it's shifting like in my attic it's summertime I've learned that uh, in the in the in the really hot days my H uh, my HVAC system can't keep up uh, because the attic is so hot it roasts the uh, HVAC ducts so I got to put some radiant barrier just all these things happen um, but I can't focus on any one of them uh, at, at once, right? So I, I can't put all my resources, eggs in one basket, 
and then I end up with nothing, right? Or I end up with all these other areas that are that are um, not complete, or I should say, has no progress. So I just want to share with you guys. We talk about this a lot. This is what it looks like, and you see, I've got decent capability in all the areas, and and, and so nothing is really lacking. Um, but also, you don't get to show off to people. You know, it's it's one of those things where uh, you you'll see people around you that are that have put all their eggs in one basket, and they show off that part of the preparedness you know don't be fooled that's it's um uh they may have these glaring gaps and, and you know they may not but um this is why we do it uh in that systematic approach this is why we do it the way we do it um so hopefully that was helpful i just wanted to share that i had this thought the other day as i was driving around and i thought hey i should share this with everybody kind of show you guys uh, what that looks like stay safe stay prepared